for those of you who watch these videos as they come out or shortly after they come out, you'll know that this week was a, uh, a difficult week in the city of Houston, which is where I am. Um, the once in a 500 year winter storm hit and overwhelmed the power grid. And so, uh, the car was pretty much a uh, back burner all week. Um, my family was really blessed. We only lost power for about 24 hours and we only lost water for about 12 hours. And um, we didn't have any busted pipes, but there were a lot of people who weren't as lucky as us. So we, uh, we spent most of the week trying to help other people out and, and get everybody back on their feet. Uh, use some automotive knowledge for sure. I um, actually modified a brake flaring tool so that I could flare copper plumbing pipes and clamp uh, 5 8 heater hoses, hoses to uh, plumbing to get people just to where they could flush their toilets until uh, a real plumber could get by because plumbers are on a three to four week backlog right now. So um, yeah, maybe playing with all these cars is good for something in real life. But uh, today's Saturday and everything is mostly back to normal, at least for everybody I know. Um, everybody has power and water. Um, and they're just trying to get everything put back together and back in order from where we did crazy things like drag beds in front of fireplaces and, uh, ran half the house off of extension cords powered by our vehicles or generators. So I did have a little bit of time to get out in the garage today. Um, and so I thought I'd show you guys what I did. Obviously this week, no 3d printing happened. That was not, uh, a priority at all with the power grid crashing running a 3d printer 24 hours a day was an unnecessary load um, so what I did today was I came out and I kind of just tried to focus on the body work on the panel I had um, and it's taken a little more effort than I thought it would um, this is about six hours of work and I really only focused on the point here where it, it the sail panel and the, the quarter panel meet uh, up to the front and then up to the peak and I didn't worry about the peak because I got to do the backside here uh, And once all that's done, then I'll be able to get the peak nice and straight. So uh, But I did get this made it up because this did not match up at all uh, So I had to build that up and get it made it up. Uh, I got the line good and straight all the way down the edge here uh, I got this edge good and clean and then obviously got these panels, panels flat. I mean, I've still got pinholes all in them and uh, somehow I got a booger there. I was done with the top and working down here and I must've got a little piece of filler flipped up there. Uh, obviously missed that. Um, I've recently, I just, the last thing I did was put it in primer so that it was a little easier to see what I'd missed. So got a little work to do here. I uh, got a little work to do there. Got to get the booger out and then got to start filling all the, the pinholes. Uh, and obviously that edge there needs some work, but I'm real happy with it. Uh, it's light years ahead of where I was with the other piece that I tried to make, uh, without 3d printing, just make from scratch with fiberglass and masking tape. So, um, this week I'll be able to start printing again, at least once Amazon resumes deliveries and I get some more filament. Um, and then, uh, while things are printing, I'll be working on the back side. Um, here, I'm not going to worry on the back panel or the top until I get the other one and made them together because every time I make things, it screws up any body work I've done. So I'll focus on this panel back here and this flange here um, while that side prints, and then I'll build that side and get them mated together and keep doing body work. Uh, the other thing I did get done right before the storm hit was... I designed a 3D bracket, or I designed a bracket and 3D printed a bracket to uh, kind of hold this headlight here. This is the Yamaha headlight. I think I showed that in the last video. This is for a motorcycle, a Yamaha R1. Uses two, uh, well, uses one projector and uh, one non projector, actually, a little odd. But anyway, so I made this bracket, which will uh, go on here like this. Yep, snaps on there like that. Uh, a bolt through that hole and a bolt through that hole will hold it. And this bracket will get bonded to the underside of the hood. Um, like here's the hood, it's sitting on its back end, right? 
got to get bonded up in here and hang down. Um, and then once that's bonded on and the lights bolted in, I'll be able to build a, a, you know, a full uh, box around it. And then I'll be able to, to close in all the extra space. So did get a bracket design. So um, got to mirror that, print the other side and get them bonded into the hood. And I can make some more progress on the nose while things print and body filler drives and things like that on the back end. So, a uh, little short update, not a whole lot happened this week, but uh, thanks for watching.